Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. Today we're going to be looking at the constructions of several mega machines. If you enjoy this type of content, make sure to leave us a comment and tell us your favorite. Thousands of people from around the globe enjoy to use cruise ships. This business has increased by 20% in the previous 5 years. Nowadays, cruise line operators desire to expand the capacity of their ships to accommodate more passengers. A ship, on the other hand, costs millions of dollars and takes around 1.5 years to construct. Obviously, this is not a viable choice for every ship owner. However, what if we cut the ship in two halves and insert an extension between them? This may seem impossible, but it is quite feasible. Indeed, millions can be saved in this way, and the ship enlargement takes less time than constructing a new one from the ground up. To begin, the ship is divided into two halves, including the hull. Then one of the sections is carefully moved to make room for the extender in the center. This is done using rollers. A ship takes around a year and a half to construct from the ground up. Shipbuilding begins with the ship's lowest and most critical component, the hull. It is constructed with around 30,000 pieces of 0.75 inch thick metal sheet. The floor is the top portion of the hull on which the engine, gearbox and other critical components are mounted. Following that, pre-assembled blocks are pieced together. These blocks are manufactured at a factory that houses bedrooms, restaurants, and play areas, as well as everything else found on a cruise ship. The benefit of this approach is that no wiring or piping of individual blocks is necessary. The ship is constructed entirely of blocks, and once completed, it is painted and released to the ocean. You're now staring at a 278 meter long, 
28 meter tall beam launcher that's fitting the viaduct's large concrete section. A viaduct is a kind of bridge that is supported by columns. These supporting columns are also referred to as piers. A unique engineering method is employed to support a pier in ocean water, known as a pneumatic caisson. It's similar to inverting an empty glass of water and filling the hollow section with concrete after inserting the pipe. This viaduct is 48 piers high and about 5.4 kilometers long. Last but not least, we're going to show you a masterpiece built by Navantia. It's called the S-80, constructed entirely in Spain. One of the most critical features of the S-80 is that it takes power using a bioethanol stealth technology. Bioethanol is a fuel that generates hydrogen, and when the produced hydrogen combines with oxygen, the reaction gives us electric power. This gives it an advantage over a typical nuclear submarine, as there is virtually zero vibration. Thus, the S-80 is harder to catch via radar by other subs. It is a highly automated submarine. Thanks to the state-of-the-art platform control system developed by Navantia Sistemas, the S-80 can be operated by a small crew of 32 sailors, reaching an underwater speed of more than 19 knots and a maximum depth capacity of more than 300 meters. It is around 80 meters in length and 7 meters in diameter and has a submerged displacement of around 3,000 tons. Most importantly, it is equipped with a fighting system that enables it to fire ground assault tactical missiles. Hey guys, thanks for watching and we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you have any thoughts about what you just watched or have ideas for future videos, comment them down below. If you enjoyed what you just saw, feel free to like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell too. Thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time.